solving equations involving SITs. Now let's look at all the examples in solving SITs. So we are going to move on to the next example. So in this example, we are still trying to achieve our learning objective, which is the second part to solve equations involving sets. So previously, you have learned how to solve equation involving indices. Now we are going to try to solve equation involving sets. Okay. So the first question, the first example that we have is set 3x plus 1 is equals to x minus 1. So this is the first example. So if we have set 3x plus 1 equals to x minus 1, how do we solve this equation? So we know that one side of the equation we have set and the other side we don't have any set. It's just a linear term. On the right hand side so we need to make sure that both sides uh, is consists of things that we can solve so for this one what we will do is we will use squaring both sides so solve by squaring both sides so this is the most important part uh, in solving equation involving sets so we use this frequently, right? So for this one, we square both sides of the equation. So the, we have this one. So 3x plus 1 equals to x minus 1. So what we do here is we will square both sides of this equation. Put the square there. Okay. So when we square this equation, so set and square, so set is actually or square root is actually power of half. And then raised to the power of another half, here we are only left with 3x plus 1. For this one, we need to expand. Expand the, equa the term of x minus 1 squared. Okay, so we are going to have x squared minus 2x plus 1. If you are still unsure on how to get this term here, you should check on how to expand the square term. Okay, so this is actually came from expanding the same term twice. So just expand it naturally and simplify, you will get to this value. So you need to check this on your own if you are still unsure on this one right okay so that is the note that you need to check okay so back to this question um after we have square both sides this is the equation that we will have and then we will try to simplify this equation so take this term on one side so we are going to have minus 2x and this side is positive so minus 3x this one is plus 1 this is positive so bring it to the right hand side it will be minus this is equal to zero so hence when we solve this we are going to have x squared minus 5x equals to zero okay so having x squared minus 5x equals to zero we just need to factorize this and this is a very basic factorization you will have x times by x minus 5 equals to 0. So the two values that we have for x are x equals to 0 or x equals to 5. However, this is not the final step. Not the final step. Okay, so what we need to do is we must check the value check the value of x which satisfy the original equation okay so we must check values of x okay which satisfies the equation 
So how are we going to check this is by simply substituting the two values of x that we have in the C in the first uh, question in the original question. So when the value of x is equal to zero, so if you plug in the value, we are going to have three times zero plus one. That we just sit there equals to zero minus one. So we have set 1 is equal to negative 1. This is not true because for a set uh, term, it will take two value if it's an equation. So this is not true. Right? And the second one, we check the second value of x. So when x is equal to 5, uh, plug in the same value. So we have 3 plug in 5 plus 1, that's a sit there, equals to 5 minus 1. So this side we are going to get 4. And this side we have 3 times 5 is 15. So that is 16. So square root of 16 is, yes, it is. it takes the value of 4. So... Finally, our final answer x is equals to 5. Okay, so this is the complete solution of this question. And okay, so move on to the next question. Next question that we have here. Um, for the previous one, we have one term on the left hand side and one term on the right hand side. So um, we have the second question. Two terms on the left hand side and one term on the right hand side so what we need to do is we try to make sure that there is only one set term one term of set on one side of our equation so instead of like this what we will first do is we will take this one keep it on the left hand side equals to 5 minus set x plus so we take this one, bring it to the right hand side, take it to the right hand side of our equation. So then here we will apply the same concept of squaring both sides of equation. So we will square both sides of our equation over here. And for this side, we will only be left with x minus 2 this side we will expand it as always so 5 squared is 25 and then we have 5 times 2 is 10 so the operation is minus 10 times negative x plus 3 so, so this one remain here and finally expand this one so we will get plus x plus 3 okay so having it like this then we will try to rearrange and simplify this equation okay um, so we will take set we will try to collect set on one side and we try to make the set as positive term so we can take this to the left hand side so we will have 10 set x plus 3 equals 2 so we're gonna have 25 okay 25 Plus 3, that is going to be 28. And then we take 2 to the other side, that's going to be 30. And we have a single term of x here on the right hand side. And if we take it, this x from the left hand side to the right hand side, we are going to be left with 0x. So we we'll only now have 10 so x plus 3 equals to 30. So what we will do here is we can actually simplify this again. So we can have x plus 3, so 30 divided by 10. Okay, so we can have x plus 3 equals to 3. So from this one, we again repeat the same process as the first step. So we will try to square the term on both sides square both sides of our term now we are gonna have x plus 3 equals to 9 
Okay, and finally, just rearranging this one, we're going to have x is equal to 6. That is the only solution that we have. So, for this one, it's up to you to either check the, uh, the solution or not. But that is our final answer. So, next question. Question C, again, we are trying to solve equation involving sets. So now we have another type of equation where we have all of the terms involving z. So this one we have to do twice of squaring uh, the equation on both sides. So the first part, okay, we just take square on both sides of equation. So we are going to have this same term minus x plus 2 and then square this one. And we're going to have x minus 6 and square this term. So squaring both sides of the term. Just expand it as always. But it will take a bit of an effort here. So square of this first term. That will, we are only going to be left with 3x minus 5. And then we have 2 times these two terms. Minus 2 of 3x minus 5. And square root of x plus 2. Okay. And on the right hand side, sorry, one more term here. Uh, square, square of this one. So plus um, x plus 2 equals to this one. We are only left with x minus 6. Okay. Um, then next part we will just try to simplify the term that we can simplify so simplifying 3x minus 5 and x plus 2 we are now left and also we take x minus 6 here so we are now left with 3x plus 3 okay and what we are trying to do is we are trying to separate this to the other side so we have 2 and then 3x minus 5, also x plus 2. This one is what we got from simplifying the first term. Okay, we simplify this one, this one, and also this one. This is what we will have. Okay, 3x plus 3. So this part, we are going to again do the squaring both sides of equation. 3x minus 5 and then x plus 2 square both sides again so expand this one we will have 9x square plus 18x plus 9 equals to so this side when we expand we are going to get 4 times 3x minus 5 times um, x plus 2 Okay, then what we'll need to do is just expand this term and try to simplify. So this side is still the same, 9x squared plus 18x plus 9 equals to, so we solve this part, 4, then we're going to have 3x squared plus x minus 10. Okay, solving this part. And then expand this, we are going to have 12x squared plus plus 4x minus 40 and on this side still the same term 18x plus 9 okay what we will do next is we are trying to simplify these two equation so by simplifying collecting like terms we will have here 3x square minus 14x minus 49 is equal to 0 so if we factor out these terms, we will have 3x plus 7, x minus 7 equals to 0. Okay, and finally we have x equals to negative 7 over 3 or x equals to 7. Now remember, for equation or questions involving z, what we need to do is we must check the final answer. So, check answer. So, when 
x is equals to negative 7 over 3 um, our right hand side will be is equals to um, set of negative 7 over 3 minus 6 that is actually a negative value negative 25 over 3 so set cannot take a negative value remember that so um, then check the second answer so when x is equal to 7 okay we are going to have the right hand side um, we check the right hand side and the left hand side so if you plug in value of 7 here in the original question we are going to have set of 16 minus set of 9 equals to set 1 okay so set of 16 is actually 4 minus 3 equals to set 1 okay this is 1 is equals to 1 Therefore, we can conclude the solution for this question is x is equals to 7. And that is the only solution for this question. Right? So, we are done with this example. Now, before we end our lecture for today, so please try to do this question and fill in the answer as a proof of your attendance for today.